Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this video, I'm going to reveal five common reasons why people get a lower score in IELTS Speaking Part 2 than they're capable of achieving, and I'll show you how to avoid these problems yourself. Obviously, you need to be able to use the English language effectively and competently, and to show ability in the four key skills on which you'll be assessed each of which holds 25% of the marks. These are fluency and coherence, vocabulary, grammar and pronunciation. However, there are five things that frequently lose candidates valuable marks that have little to do with their actual language ability. These are 1. They don't speak for the full two minutes. 2. They run out of things to say. three. Their talk is unstructured. Four, they read out their notes rather than speaking naturally. Five, they panic because they think they don't know anything about the topic. The information I'm about to give you will enable you to avoid these issues. A common question I get from students is, do I have to talk for exactly two minutes? The simple answer is no. Keep talking until the examiner stops you which will be at around two minutes. If you stop before one minute 40 or one minute 50 seconds, this probably will affect your score, as you may lose marks for fluency and coherence. The reason why some people stop talking before their two minutes is up is quite simply because they've run out of things to say. The reason for this is usually that they haven't used their one minute planning time wisely most probably because they don't have a good planning strategy. Unfortunately, poor planning leads to an unstructured answer, with ideas popping up all over the place and not really tying together. Then you dry up completely. This will obviously prevent you from showing the examiner the best of your language skills. The simple solution is to have a few adaptable part two planning strategies practiced and ready to use on whatever topic you get on the day. To save you the time and hard work developing them yourself, I've created three that you can start using straight away with practice cue cards. They're question prompt, brainstorming and the five senses. They're all you'll need to help you plan any part two talk. Each has a dedicated page on my website explaining how to use it with sample talks for you to study. Just click on the links in the description below this video. There are also videos explaining how to use each strategy on my YouTube channel. Another classic mistake candidates make is to read out their notes rather than talking naturally. This has several consequences. If you read your notes, your speech will sound like reading, not speaking. It will have unnatural fluency, sentence stress and pronunciation, and this will not please the examiner. They're there to test your speaking skills, not your reading ability. Focusing too closely on your notes while speaking may also cause you to move quickly from one bullet point to the next without developing your ideas. You're likely to reach the end with lots of time still to go and nothing more to say. Remember, the examiner is there to test your speaking skills not your reading ability, so use your notes as a guide only. Finally, don't be that candidate who completely wastes their planning time because they're convinced they don't know anything about the subject they've been asked to talk about and they go into a complete panic. If you've learnt my planning strategies and, more importantly, practised using them over and over again, you'll be fine. Most topics are related to everyday life and common experiences. I guarantee that I could ask you about any subject in these categories and you could tell me at least three or four things and you know about it, even if the topic was something you believed you knew nothing about. Three or four things are enough to create your talk. You then use the planning strategies to develop them. A few bullet points on each and you're ready to go. Here's a little more assurance if you need it. The examiner will not be expecting a degree level answer. They just want to know what you know about the topic. 
a few facts and your own thoughts, opinions and feelings. The content of your talk is not nearly as important as how you say it, that is, your fluency, grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary. Be confident that you can deal with any topic because you can. There's really only one way to get better at anything, and that's to practice. To make this easy for you, I've created a free download of 30 IELTS speaking practice cards. A total of 330 part 1, 2 and 3 questions on 30 different topics. You'll find them on the website at the address on the slide, or click the link below this video. There are also lots of IELTS style questions on my topic vocabulary pages. I've added that link as well. Now all you need to do is get practicing. You'll soon be able to effectively plan a two minute talk in that one minute planning time. And this is going to hugely increase your chances of getting a high score for IELTS speaking part two. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the information helpful and I'll see you in the planning strategy videos.